Hello everyone, this is Kevin Sullivan and I'm in my master bedroom suite um, of my yacht. Um, I thank God that I'm blessed to acquire what my heart desired. I desire a yacht. Um, you might desire a car, you might desire a watch or, or a house or something like that, but um, this this is what I desired and God blessed me. And in order to receive this, I, I had to imagine it, just like you had to first imagine what you wanted. You know, I wanted a house like this, I want a car like this, I want a, I want a watch like this, I want a, a wife like this. You know, your imagination is the thing that uh, that 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 showed you that you can manifest something that you didn't quite have in your hand that wasn't tangible. Um, excuse, uh, you know, the picture not being hung up on the wall correctly. I actually just moved in here and I'm getting the furniture in the way I want to get it in, and everything's not quite the way I want it to be right now. But it'll be it'll be fixed up, you know. Um, pretty soon so I'm just out here uh, just chilling you know I'm, I'm thankful I'm grateful of my blessings and got my lemonade I love drinking lemonade um, I can hear the waves crashing I can hear the seagulls I can hear the wind I can smell the sea breeze. It's so peaceful and um, tranquil in here. And I have really good conversations with my God. You know, I just, I just thank Him. I really do. I just thank Him. You know, cause like most of us, like I, I started from nothing. Like nothing. You know, I, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. came from most the most humble beginnings, um, dysfunctional family, um, hard times, near death experiences, etc. You know, I had to work hard for everything I got. Nothing was given to me. So now that I'm here, I'm 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 appreciative. You know, I'm thankful, I'm grateful. I don't have the big head. You know, so that's why I'm I'm inviting you guys here. Um, a little later on, I'm going to go out on the deck and I'm going to show you guys um, the different levels. You know, it's, it's three levels to this particular yacht and a helipad. So later on, we'll go out there and I'll show y'all what's on the first level. There's seven rooms on the first level and there's eight rooms on the second level. And then on the third level, that's like where the captain, you know, steers the ship. That's like the... the um, the, uh, the place where the captain does everything he needs to do with all the control panels and the instruments and um, he's at the helm there so I, I'll show y'all that as well but I just wanted to uh, just welcome y'all in you know to get y'all ready for what y'all about to see on my yacht and I'm doing this video because I wrote a book and the book is called Heaven's Ambassador and the book is very symbolic um, to a yacht. You know, it's very, very symbolic. I have it's a, it's a series, and it's more than one. It's one, two, three books, um, and it's, and it's very symbolic to a yacht. It has different levels. In the first book, you will get seven chapters. In the second book, you will get eight chapters. In the third book, you will get all fifteen chapters together in one. But it's very condensed and very concise and it's shortened to the point. And in the third the third book, the person who you should focus on the most or who is focused on the most in the third chapter is the captain of the actual ship of Christianity, which we call Jesus. So that book focuses on what he says about the different topics that I'm discussing in my book. The first book is this book, Volume 1. 
And in volume one, I'm talking about admonishing the foolishness of worldly wisdom to establish higher intelligence in its place. In volume two, this book, I'm talking about admonishing the recklessness of worldly wisdom. The first book, I'm talking about the foolishness of worldly wisdom. The second book, I'm talking about the recklessness of worldly wisdom. And in the third book, and in the third, the third book, I'm talking about the worth, the worthlessness, the worthlessness of worldly wisdom. And we are admonishing these things so we can establish higher intelligence in its place. So the book is called Heaven's Ambassador. I believe it's the most influential, thought-provoking Christian book series of the 21st century. Of the 21st century. I, I, I truly believe that. Um, I wrote these books with you in mind. I wrote these books with your kids in mind. I wrote these books with your daughters and your sons in mind. I wrote these books with your college student in mind. I wrote these books for your bishop and your pastors and your apostles in mind. That's why I wrote these books. Um, it was pressed upon my heart to write these books. When I was far, far away from my family, and I, I used to get phone calls, and I used to talk to them, and they would give me stories and examples of things that was happening to them, um, attacks that they were under spiritually, um, things happening to their body, things happening to their finances, things happening to their faith. And I, I would feel powerless. I would feel um, that I, I, I couldn't do anything about it. And God when I spoke to him about how I felt about it, he said, you're far away, but 